All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use subsurface scattering in Maya 8.5 and below. Now, if you have version 2008, you're not going to need to create this custom shader network that I'm going to be creating. It's going to be automatically created for you if you use the Maya 2008. All right, so let's get started. Let's first go under Window, Settings and Preferences, all the way down to Plugin Manager, then find our Metal Ray plugin and enable it. Mine is Maya T O M R dot M L L. I'm going to click Load it on that and then hit Close. Now I'm going to go under Window, Render and Editors, Hypershade, to open up my Hypershade. Then I'm going to go click this button right here, Show Bottom Tabs Only, and then look over here and make sure I am in the um, Create Metal Ray nodes. And now I'm going to drop down the Materials tab here, and I'm going to choose MISSS Fast Simple Maya. Now this is a subsurface scattering node, or shader. There are quite a few here. Now I'm going to actually select this um, surface server scatter and shader. I then go up to input and output connections and click that while it's selected. Then double click on my shader here. And you'll notice that I also created the second node here, which I'm going to be using for the network. So anyways, okay, we have our attribute editor opened up here. And I need to drop down the light map tab here. Uh, then I'm going to click on the checkered box on light map. And what that's going to do it's going to create a metal ray texture one node that I'm going to be using. I also need one more um, node in here, and it's a light map. So drop down your light map tab, and then choose M I S S S Fast L Map Maya. Put it right down there. Okay. So um, I just want to get something out of the way first. Metal ray texture one. We need to kind of configure the attributes on this. So just double click on it. And we're going to make it writable, and we're going to open up our render settings button up here. And let's take a look at this. We're rendering at 640 width. We need twice the width that we render has for our fire file size here. So we're going to go 1280, or um, 1280, yeah. And then for the height, it can be the same because it's rendering on an image and has to render both the front and back side of the object to get the uh, subsurface scattering effect. So that's why it has to be twice the width. Anyways, let's make the file depth. 32 bits over here. Let's close this up. Okay, now this is all configured here, that uh, node. So we need to make some uh, connections here. Let's select the L map, double click on it, and then drag and drop using the middle mouse button and simply grab the metal ray texture one and drop it into the L maps light map under light map right. Just drop it on that tab, throw this into there, and then you're good. So we need to make one more connection on our um, shading engine node here. We need to actually grab our L map and throw it into the light map shader under um, these tabs here. Um, metal ray, under metal ray, custom shaders. We need to grab the L map and throw it into the light map shader. All right, now our metal ray um, shader for uh, subsurface scattering is all set up. I'm just going to create an object in here mesh, scale it up, throw our shader on there using the middle mouse. So now this spear is going to have some subsurface scattering going on. Let's create some point lights. Hit 7 for uh, lit. And then create another um, another light, throw it behind there. And then I'm going to actually uh, render out a shot here. Okay, so we're in Maya software, it says right here. We need to just click on this and then go mental ray and then hit the render button again. Alright. And, you know, you can kind of tell that this is um, subsurface scattering, but let's change some of these settings on our subsurface scattering uh, shader here to, you know, make it look more visible that there is some subsurface scattering going on. I'm going to change the back SSS weight, which this light here is that. So, um, because where you're rendering from, if I render from this side, that's the back um, weight. Or if I render from this side, that light will be the back weight. So I'm going to increase the weight to 1, and then increase our um, back SSS radius, which is going to basically control how deep in units on our grid that um, the light's going to go through it. I want to change this to 15. And then I'm going to render out another frame here, and it should be a lot more visible than I have some subsurface scattering going on. Well, I could I could change it. Let's see here, the weight two. Uh, 
I'm just gonna go all the way and make it five. All right, and as you can see here, we have some subsurface scattering going on, and it looks pretty nice. Even though you know you could throw this uh, shader onto a candle, and it would look really nice. Um, just you know, play with some of your settings in here. You know, change them around. Uh, maybe we could change our um, front SSS weight to one, so we can increase the effect or noise or the penetration um, in the front here. So why don't we increase that to five? Just make it look like it's totally lit. Um, maybe that's a little too much because it like completely penetrates. Let me make it three. And then I'm going to change the radius to five. So it's only going to shine five units into the, uh, the thing there. But anyways, there you go. That's um, some subsurface scattering going on with some pretty um, crazy high um, settings. We could actually turn these down and get a better looking effect. But um, there you go. You can obviously see here that that's Metal Ray and it's subsurface scattering. So thanks for watching this video tutorial. And, you know, um, please subscribe to my videos. I really want to get some more subscriptions going on. Hopefully hit 300 soon. But, you know, if you find this useful, hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.